Alright boys and girls, this is your first tutorial video so that you can um, use as you're working on homework assignments or reviewing for tests or quizzes, especially having to do with pattern one sentences. So we're going to begin by talking about the abbreviations and what do they stand for. The first abbreviation is SN and it stands for the subject noun. Whenever we are looking for the subject noun, we're always going to ask who or what our sentence is about. Then we come to the verb, which is a, just a capital letter V. Usually when we're looking for the verb in our sentence, we are going to ask what is being said about our subject noun. What is it that the subject noun is doing within the sentence? Then we have article adjectives. We just label those with a capital letter A. Those are actually words that you just need to learn. Those are the a and an. There are no questions to go along with them. You just need to know and recognize these within the sentence. Then we've got adjectives. We use a the abbreviation ADJ. When we're looking for adjectives within our sentence, we need to ask three different questions. What kind? Which one? How many? If there are any words that answer those questions, then you have found the adjectives in the sentence. And then finally, we have adverbs, and we use the abbreviation ADV. Also for these, we've got three questions we ask when we're looking for adverbs within our sentences. These questions are when, where, and how. If there are any words that answer those questions, then you found an adverb. Another good hint is most of the time, words ending in L-Y are going to act as adverbs within the sentence. Then we have to understand that we must label the kind of sentence that we're working with. Remember, these are the four kinds of sentences that we've already discussed in class. We've got the capital letter D for a declarative sentence. Remember, this just gives statements. It's just an information that is given to us, and it's going to end in a period. The capital letter E stands for exclamatory. These are the sentences that are going to show strong feeling. They are going to end in an exclamation point. And we've got the interrogative sentences. These are the sentences that ask questions, okay? So they're going to end with, an ex, uh, with a question mark. And then finally, we have the imperative sentences. These are the sentences that are going to give us a command or a request. They are going to end with a period, and most of the time, they are going to start with a verb. They're actually going to be telling you to do something. So let's go ahead and take a quick look here at um, one of the sentences that we've already done in class and just kind of practice asking the questions as we're trying to label our sentence itself. And so here, we've got the sentence, candles burn. Anytime I'm going to classify a sentence, I'm going to begin by looking for my subject noun first. Because within a pattern one sentence, we are always are going to begin by looking for our core parts, which are our subject noun and our verb. Those are the two main things that we're going to look for. And so since I'm looking for my subject, I need to find out who or what my sentence is about. So what burned candles. And since that is who the what my sentence is about, I am going to label it with a capital S and a capital N on top. Then I need to find out what was my subject doing. So what is being said about candles? Candles burned. Burned is an action that can actually physically happen, and so this is my action verb, and I am going to just label it with a capital V. Then, as part of my procedure, I need to go ahead and separate my complete subject from my complete predicate of my sentence. Remember, the complete subject is my subject noun and all the words that describe my subject noun, and my complete predicate is my verb and all the words that help describe my verb. And in this sentence, I can go ahead and separate it right between candles and burn by putting a slash between both of those words. At the end of my sentence, I need to label what kind of sentence this is. And since I am just being given information, this is a declarative sentence, so I'm going to put a capital letter D at the end of my sentence. And then at the very beginning of my sentence, I'm going to write my pattern label. And remember, just like we talked in class, ladies and gentlemen, our pattern label for pattern one sentences is simply S N. V, both of those go on the top of our line, and P1 for pattern one underneath our sentence. 
Alrighty, here we come to a sentence with a couple of extra pieces to it. We're still going to go ahead and walk through and classify all of our things, our core parts first, our subject, noun, and our verb. But now we're going to incorporate our adjective questions and our adverb questions as well. So, the red candles burned brightly. What burned brightly? Candles, and candles is my subject noun. What is being said about candles? Candles burned. It is an action, so this is my verb. Now I'm going to start asking my questions for adjectives and adverbs. Candles burned how? Brightly. Brightly is answering one of the adverb questions, which is how, and it also ends in an L-Y. So I'm going to add label brightly as an adverb. Then I come to the beginning of my sentence. I see the word the. It's one of the three words that we need to know as part of our list for article adjectives. So I'm going to label the with a capital letter A for article adjective. And then I have one more word left. Now. Um, I'm going to find out how is this word describing candles. And so I'm going to ask the question, what kind of candles? The, co the color red describes what kind of candle it is, and what kind is a question for an adjective. And so I'm going to label this as an adjective using the abbreviation ADJ. Now that all the words have been labeled in the sentence, now I need to separate my complete subject from my complete predicate. Remember, complete subject is my subject noun and all the words that describe it. So the red candles, that is my complete subject noun. It goes between candles and burned because burned brightly is the verb and all the words that describe the verb, and that is my complete predicate. At the end of the sentence, I need to state what kind of sentence it is, and this is a declarative sentence. And then at the very beginning, I'm going to put my pattern label, which is subject, noun, verb, pattern one. All right, this is another sentence that we also did. I'm going to go a little bit faster so that you can kind of get an idea on how we're going to be labeling this in class. So the sentence says, happy children shouted loudly. Who shouted loudly? Children, subject, noun. What is being said about children? Children shouted. Verb. Children shouted how? Loudly. Adverb. What kind of children? Happy children. Adjective. And the is my article adjective. My sentence is separated between children and shouted. It is a declarative sentence. And at the beginning, I'm going to label it as a subject noun, verb, pattern one. Boys and girls, remember, any time that you have any questions or any doubts, please feel free to ask those questions during class. And also, if there's something that you do not understand, you're more than welcome to join us whenever we have help class on Tuesdays from 315 to 345. I hope this helps you as you complete any assignments today. Thank you.